George, welcome to Shrewsbury. Thank you. Um, we know you've had a lot of interest. Why did you decide to come here? Um, I think because of the football club. Obviously, it's been in League One a long time now. Um, obviously, know the gaffer, know the assistant, Oigi. Um, got a relationship with Mickey after being at Cheltenham. Um, just having conversations with, with them three, kind of just I had my mind kind of set on this the last couple of weeks and managed to get something done and just, just really happy, got it over the line. So let's just talk to you about those three, if that's okay. Mickey Morgan go quite a long way back. Just tell us about your relationship, how you first sort of met each other. So when Mickey came to the football club, obviously I've been, I was at Cheltenham for 10, 10 plus years. Mickey came to the football club as in the director of football role, kind of the first person to do that. Um, as I was like a, a first year pro, um, Mickey kind of gave me kind of a pathway at the football club that wasn't there before, kind of as, as to develop as into a professional footballer. Um, it was really good. Sent me on loan to Hereford for a season to get experience. Sent me on loan to Port Vale um, to get some more experience the season after. And then I ended up obviously sent, get sent on loan to uh, Grimsby under the, under the gaffer here. And I really enjoyed it. And it was kind of a, a perfect fit because of that. You did really well at Grimsby. Um, I think it was average one goal in four. Just talk to us about your time there, Paul, Paul Ellison, Doidy, of course. What was it like working for them? It was really good um, to. Like fundamentally just honest people who which I really respect um, really enjoyed my time under them training's fun they make they make it fun and ultimately that's that's what you want to be do as a professional footballer um, just just really enjoyed trusted me I trusted them felt like it was a really good fit um, kind of did want to get that link up together after I had left didn't happen that's football so now kind of getting that link up again is like for me really exciting um, just really enjoyed working with them and under both of them. Just in terms of leaving Chapman though, you were a scholar there, you had to come through the academy. This is, you've obviously been away on loan, but this is your first permanent move away. How does that feel? How are you reflecting your time at Chapman? It feels like, I guess, at the end of an era a little bit. Like, really excited to be here, really excited to do stuff. Obviously, got really fond memories of Cheltenham. Um, couldn't, there's too many people there to thank for the development of my career. Fans have been brilliant there. Um, but sometimes in life it's time for a change and at this time I feel like there is time for a change and feel like this is this is the right place for all that change. Just talk to us about your style as a player, are you an out-and-out -out striker? Yeah, I, I like to think I'm an out-and-out -out striker, I'm someone that just works hard, lay work horse, run around, try and battle, not give defenders much time, try and be a, a kind of a bit of pain in the ass for defenders really put the team first and hopefully it can add a bit of quality in that and, and help the team. I think you might know a couple of lads already, Carl Winchester, I'll see it shout and I think you've crossed paths with Mal Benning as well yeah. before. Just talk to us about those two. So uh, Winnie was a uh, more of an experienced pro when I was at Cheltenham. I think I might have been a second year YTS or even a first year pro at the time. Um, really good player, re really good character. Got, got on with him quite well, someone I kind of looked up to kind of with the experience and, and the talent that he had in the team and me being younger at the time. Mal was someone that I went to, when I went on loan to Port Vale, was also there. And me and Mal got on really well, so still kept in touch with Mal since we left, so he knows that, he knows that I'm signing there, so, and that was good. Obviously did speak to him previously before signing here about the club and he had really high things to say about the club, which, which did help. And he, he's just a really good guy, Mal. And just away from it was almost, you perhaps weren't going to be a footballer, you had a big choice to make, understand you were a really good gymnast growing up. Yeah, so I did kind of did gymnastics, football um, was actually second to gymnastics. At one point I was a, a gymnast out and out and um, a friend at the gymnastics club did football, invited me along, ended up enjoying it, ended up being half decent kind of did both, had to juggle both a lot of the time. Sometimes I had to sacrifice a, a training session for football for gymnastics or vice versa. Um, but it was something that my mum um, always managed to do for me. I'm also a twin. He had done the same, so we kind. Of, luckily, we were in the same team for both, so that was made it a bit easier for her. But it was just something that was constantly, constantly choosing between. I actually did get injured in gymnastics, and then ended up making the decision to to try football, like to try to do it as a job. Um, it's, it was. It would have been too much to do both. I was doing. I think every night after school, a Saturday and Sunday was filled with either gymnastics or football. So ultimately, I chose football. 
So your mum was ferrying you and your brother here, there, and everywhere then when you were growing yeah, up. Yeah, my mum didn't even drive either, so it was a, it was an interesting time. We used to uh, we used to either get the bus or a bit of a long walk to someone's house to to help get a lift and stuff. But she was brilliant. She uh, always took us to where we needed to be. We must have been quite tired, bless her. But it, it, like I said, like we ma she managed to get it all done, however that was, and it was it was just enjoyed every moment of it. I do miss gymnastics. It was it was unbelievable to do. It's such a good sport, and it's helped me with my football game today. Helped me with my athletic ability. So it's, it's something I also look back on. I think this this did help me in in, in the game today. And away from football again, you're also studying a business management degree at the Open University. Yeah. about life. I've actually just taken a year off that because um, you have it's a six year course instead of a three year because you do it part time. Um, I took a year off just because I wanted a year off. It was a, it was kind of when I was I'm 24 now. It was 20 when I started it. Um, three years in, a lot of the older pros at Chatham at the time were, were kind of, I think there was three or four at the time, they were between 27 and 30 doing this degree and it was something I was quite interested in and it was something that I thought I could do alongside my football and I also kind of know that you, some, you're going to need something in the future, whether that's, you, you could end up being a millionaire in football but you still want something to do to drive, because you've got that drive, well, you're going to need a job after as well so I thought, well, they're a bit older, so I thought, why don't I try and get that done before that time? Obviously, by that time, a lot of them had kids, wives, and, and all that sort of thing. So I thought, if I can try and get at least a bulk of that degree done before I'm kind of older, then it might make it a little bit easier, because I think a few of them did find it a bit more difficult with the kids and stuff and, mm -hmm. and trying to juggle the two. Um, just back here then for next season, what are sort of your hopes for the, for the campaign ahead? Ultimately, to play football as a footballer. You just want to play as many games as you did. Luckily, I managed to, to do that at Cheltenham last year as well. Um, that was kind of my first full season, um, being able to play week in, week out for a team. And kind of when I was previously at Grimsby with the gaffer here, I just want to enjoy my football like I have the last kind of 18 months. Before that, it was always kind of stop start. It was hard mentally, hard physically. And I, I just want to enjoy it really. And absolutely, I love playing under the gaffer, as I said. So just want to get back to that.